Hello world, welcome to the seventh video in my troubleshooting playlist on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So today we're going to talk about a uh, error, a file not found error, and it is when you're trying to um, find a location of a specific file. So file not found error, win error to the system cannot find the file specified. So what we have here is um, a video and uh, I have verified this a million times that it's a valid video um, and a good way to check for yourself is go to the video you're trying to um, use in your code and come to the properties, right click it, press properties, copy and paste this. Um, and then copy the name of the file and copy and paste it right into the string. Um, for Python, you'll have to, because when you copy and paste, you get forward slashes. You will need to change those to the backslashes. So this file exists. Uh, you may also try to put it in the root folder if you're using PyCharm and you're still getting this error. Um, so what I have here is I have this input video, I pass it to this function, and then I use the import sub process. So if you're trying to use the sub process module, I'm using a dot call, but um, you could be using any of the sub process methods, and you're getting this system cannot find the file specified and it's very aggravating. So you simply, at least for me, I have a Windows machine, I'm using PyCharm, I'm using, I think, Python 3.8, and I've checked all of that, and what it is, is you have to um, add this into your sub-process arguments. So within the parentheses of whatever sub-process method you're using, put shell equals true, and now we'll run it. And now the process finished with exit code zero, which means it successfully ran up to this point. And there you go. That's how you fix that error. So without that, let me show you again. Um, let me comment that out. So right now we don't have the shell equals true. Then we get the file not found error. The system cannot find the file specified. To read more about that, you can go to the sub-process module documentation. And basically, um, it just offers many shell-like features right here. So if you're using OS dot or any of the sub-process modules, then just know that it's being executed through the shell when you type in that true. Uh, you can read more about the security considerations for what I'm doing. Mine is not going to production or development. These are just my own codes that I'm using for myself, so I'm not as concerned with security considerations. But there you go. Hope this helps. Add shell equals true, and it should resolve the problem, and you continue your code. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.